The Detroit Pistons were far from a playoff appearance this season, but they will be back in contention for title quicker than any other team who's sitting on the couch with the rest of us right now. You asked for it and we delivered it's Fan Friday and you the fans chose today's topic for point of view. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know which bad NBA team you think can get good fast. There's at least one team that fills this role nearly every year. The Oklahoma City Thunder were the 10th seed and missed the playoffs a year ago and are now the top seed in the West. Even the Timberwolves and Magic went from afterthoughts to top five seeds in their conferences. So looking ahead to next year, obviously the Spurs will get better as we see Victor Wembanyama become a superstar in record time and we've seen how good the Grizzlies can be when they don't have the injuries and distractions they've had lately, so it wouldn't be right to pick them. That still leaves a handful of bad teams to choose from, and I think there's no better team to put your faith in than the Detroit Pistons. They only won 14 games this season and lost an NBA record 28 straight games in a single season from October to December, but there's still reasons to be optimistic even beyond all the poor injury luck they've faced. First off, Cade Cunningham is a stud. The former first-round pick, has battled his own injuries but has otherwise been elite in his first three seasons in the league and is steadily making strides as the top option. This season, he averaged 22.7 points per game which was 21st in the NBA and 7.5 assists which was 8. It'll be more difficult to get those stats when the roster improves around him, but the time he's getting right now is the clear number one is invaluable to his development. Here's what Cunningham had to say at the end of the season interview about what he learned this season. I know the NBA now. I know what players are out there. I know what I'm going to see. I'm confident about who I am on the basketball court. I'm confident about who my teammates are. So for me, I mean, I'm more optimistic than ever than just being able to have a better year next year than this one and continuing to build towards my goal. Having a young star like Cade leading the team is a great start and the Pistons need to sign him to a big extension soon, but they have a bunch of players who are 22 years old or younger on rookie contracts who could be franchise cornerstones. Before we get to that, here are the results of this week's poll question. Thanks to everyone who voted and look out for another question next week. Back to the young guys. Jaden Ivey had a bit of a down year compared to his rookie season, but he still put up over 15 points a game and decreased his turnover rate. Jalen Dern made big strides and averaged a double-double in 29 minutes per game. And Oscar Thompson is an absolute dog on defense, and his athleticism will make him a dynamic offensive player in the future. You toss Marcus Saster into that group, and that's a young core that is stacked, and they are far from done building it up. They have their own first-round picks for the foreseeable future, except for one that will convey to the Knicks at some point in the next four years. And while this year's draft is expected to be one of the worst in recent memory, they'll pick somewhere at the top and choose whoever they feel fits best with the core. Maybe someone like Alex Sarr to replace James Wiseman? And that's the tricky part, predicting who will be on the team going forward. Detroit will hire a new president of basketball operations, and it will be up to them to decide if guys like Wiseman, Isaiah Stewart, and Simon Fontecchio stick around. To be honest, I don't really care who stays and goes among the players not on rookie contracts. When the Pistons are back in contention, they're going to look a whole lot different. But what we have learned from those guys who could be out the door is that Detroit is a desirable city to play for and cares about basketball and developing its players. A big reason for that is, of course, Cade Cunningham. Here's what Fontecchio had to say about Motorcade's leadership. I loved it from the first moment. I think it was uh, my first game here with the, in LA against the Clippers, and he came up to me and you know started asking me questions like, well, tell me where you want the ball, how you want the ball, and I'm like, Everybody, anybody didn't really ever ask me stuff like this. So uh, I told him, he said, you do your thing. I'll be, I'll, I'll try to be available <laughs> as much as I could. And uh, uh, I really enjoy playing with him. I think he's, he's a real point guard. And uh, I think the, the Detroit is be very, very lucky to have him. And uh, I'm personally very lucky to have him as a teammate. I just love to play with him. I think a little credit has to go to Monty Williams for creating this culture on a team that had one of the worst seasons a team has ever had. Not taking shots, but definitely taking shots here. I don't think the Washington Wizards are entering their offseason with as much optimism and chemistry. So as for the question of which NBA team that had a bad season will improve the quickest, it's got to be Detroit. And a team that the Pistons can use as an example of quick rebuild is the Minnesota Timberwolves. For more on how they've built a title contender, check out our recent point of view. Enjoy the weekend, and we hope to find you here again next week.